In the final chapter of the flight control series, we will explore the pitch control features of the aircraft. Pitch control is the ability to control the aircraft through the lateral axis. The center of gravity is the point where the weight of the aircraft acts. As this point lies ahead of the center of pressure, the lift from the wings of the aircraft generates a nose-down pitching moment. To counter this moment, the horizontal tailplane has to generate a tail-down force. When the two moments are equal, there is no rotation around the CG, and when the rotation is zero, the aircraft is in trimmed flight. The tailplane aerofoil has a negative camber, which turns the airflow and provides negative lift. The aircraft's pitch attitude is controlled by varying the tailplane force. The combination of the trimmable horizontal stabilizer and the elevator provides pitch control. When the elevator deflects up, it changes the camber to increase the tail-down force. When it deflects down, it changes the camber to reduce the tail-down force. Moving the horizontal stabilizer changes the angle of incidence and varies the airflow turn around the tailplane. When the leading edge of the stabilizer moves down, the tail-down force increases. When the leading edge moves up, the tail-down force decreases. The elevator up deflection will increase the nose up pitching moment and cause the aircraft to pitch up. The elevator down deflection will reduce the nose up pitching moment and cause the aircraft to pitch down. The horizontal stabilizer down movement will increase the nose up pitching moment and the aircraft will pitch up. The horizontal stabilizer up movement will reduce the nose up pitching moment and the aircraft will pitch down. Selecting the pitch trim switch will directly move the stabilizer when the aircraft is on the ground. The optimum stabilizer position for takeoff is determined by the CG position and weight of the aircraft. The flight computers calculate this position. Keeping the weight constant if we move the CG position forward. The downforce required at the tail during the takeoff roll will be greater. Therefore, the flight computers will recalculate the position for more tail down force. Flight computers also calculate the safe takeoff range. Attempting a takeoff with the stabilizer outside the green band will be dangerous, and the computers will provide a configuration warning. By setting the stabilizer to the correct position, the pilot can apply similar control column force and achieve a smooth takeoff rotation for different CG and weight configurations. During the takeoff rotation, the flight computer provides tail strike protection. Several factors can cause a tail strike. Let's consider excessive control column input. The flight computer monitors the initial pitch rate of the aircraft. If it calculates a possible tail strike due to over-rotation, the computer limits the elevator deflection. This ensures the aircraft maintains a minimum tail clearance of 18 inches. Relaxed Static Longitudinal Stability The horizontal stabilizer is designed to provide longitudinal stability. When a disturbance causes the aircraft to pitch up, the angle of attack of the wing increases. This increases the lift on the wings, thereby increasing the nose-down pitching moment. Simultaneously, the angle of attack of the horizontal stabilizer changes to reduce the downlift on the tail. This reduces the nose-up pitching moment. Due to the difference between the two moments, the aircraft has a tendency to return to its original position, but the momentum carries it further. Now as the angle of attack of the wing reduces, the nose-down pitching moment decreases. The angle of attack of the tailplane increases in the opposite direction to increase the downlift and the nose-up moment. The aircraft pitches up. In a decreasing oscillation, the aircraft returns to its original attitude. This ability of the aircraft to return to its attitude without any control surface input is known as positive longitudinal stability. The stability of the aircraft depends on the moment provided by the horizontal tail. The moment is equal to the force times the distance from the center of gravity. As the CG moves forward, the distance increases, and therefore the moment increases. An aircraft with a forward CG will have strong longitudinal stability. The aircraft recovers faster when disturbed. The forward CG position reduces the maneuverability of the aircraft. 
As work has to be done against the strong longitudinal stability, a larger column force and control surface deflection is required to achieve the desired pitch attitude. This increases the stress on the control surfaces and could result in premature structural failure. The forward CG position also reduces cruise performance. The forward CG location increases the nose-down pitching moment, therefore the tail has to compensate with more downforce. The downforce from the tail increases the effective weight of the aircraft. The lift has to be equal to the weight and the tail down force for level flight. The lift is increased by increasing the angle of attack of the wings. Since the lift on the wings and the tail is an aerodynamic force, increasing the lift will increase the induced drag. To overcome this drag the aircraft has to burn more fuel. To improve performance the Boeing 777 uses relaxed static stability. The CG of the aircraft is kept closer to the aft limit. As this reduces the nose-down pitching moment, less downforce is required on the tail. Less downforce will reduce the effective weight, and the aircraft can fly with a lower angle of attack and less lift. This reduction in lift on both the wings and the tail reduces the induced drag, resulting in less fuel burn and a more efficient cruise. The relaxation of static stability increases the maneuverability of the aircraft. Less column force and a small deflection of the control surfaces provide sufficient pitching moments, reducing the stress on control surfaces. But the aircraft now has weak longitudinal stability. When disturbed, the aircraft will take longer to recover and affect passenger comfort. This is where the fly-by-wire system of the aircraft comes into play. The aircraft relies on the stability augmentation function of the flight computer to enhance longitudinal stability. When the aircraft is disturbed, the flight computer uses the elevator to vary the tail force and counter the disturbance, resulting in a faster recovery. The fly-by-wire augmentation gives the appearance of more longitudinal stability than the aircraft actually has. On modern commercial aircraft, the control surfaces are operated using hydraulic actuators. The pilot does not get the actual feedback of the aerodynamic forces acting on the control surfaces. Therefore, the force on the control column is artificially simulated by the flight computer based on airspeed. It uses the elevator feel unit to vary the spring tension acting on the control column. At low airspeed the column force is less. As airspeed increases, the flight computer increases the spring tension and the column gets harder to push or pull. In high-speed flights, this prevents aggressive pitch inputs, protects the control surfaces, and gives the pilot the feel of a conventional aircraft. Pitch trim in flight. The pitch trim switch is used to neutralize the force on the control column. Consider an aircraft trimmed for a steady climb. When in trimmed condition, the control column is in neutral with no force. The speed at which the aircraft flies in the trimmed condition is known as trim airspeed and the current thrust provided by the engine setting is known as trimmed thrust. With the thrust lever fixed at the trimmed condition, a pull force on the control column will increase the pitch attitude, and the airspeed drops below the trim speed. A push force on the control column will reduce the pitch attitude and increase the airspeed above the trim speed. The flight computer augments speed stability as the aircraft has moved away from the trim speed, the flight computer will simulate the force on the control column to give a speed difference signal to the pilot. If the control column is released, the speed stability function of the flight computer will adjust the elevator to return the aircraft to its trimmed speed. Therefore, the pilot has to maintain the force on the column to maintain the current speed and the flight path. Instead of maintaining the force, the pilot can use the pitch trim switch. Pressing the trim switch automatically selects the current speed as the new trim speed. The flight computer moves the stabilizer and offloads the elevator. Simultaneously, it neutralizes the force on the control column and the pilot can return it to neutral. The aircraft has been re-trimmed and the full elevator is available for further pitch correction. When the aircraft is in a trimmed condition, selecting the pitch trim switch does not move the stabilizer directly but rather selects a new trim reference speed in the flight computer. Now the computer deflects the elevator to achieve this speed by changing the tailplane force. Then it moves the horizontal stabilizer and simultaneously offloads the elevator to the neutral position. The aircraft reaches a new trimmed state. The Boeing 777 enhances the pilot's speed awareness and control by including airspeed in the pitch trim function.
In manual flight, apart from trimming to neutralize the column force, all other pitching moments caused by thrust changes or configuration changes are auto-trimmed by the flight computer to reduce workload. Aircraft with underwing engines have a thrust vector below the center of gravity. A reduction in thrust causes the aircraft to pitch down. Increasing the thrust will cause the aircraft to pitch up. The flight computer will automatically trim the aircraft to minimize the pitching effect. When flaps are extended, due to the increase in lift towards the trailing edge of the wings, the center of pressure moves aft. This increases the distance between the center of gravity and the center of pressure, causing the aircraft's nose to pitch down. The flight computer will compensate for the pitching moment when the flap configuration is changed. When speed brakes are extended, the reduction in lift at the trailing edge of the wings shifts the center of pressure forward and causes the aircraft to pitch up. The flight computer compensates for the pitching moment during speed brake operation. In manual flight, when the pitch trim input causes the stabilizer to move, the pilot can interrupt the pitch command by applying the opposite control column input. The flight computer will stop the stabilizer movement and allow the pilot to select the new desired pitch attitude. When the autopilot is engaged, it gives pitch commands to the flight computer. The flight computer deflects the elevator to achieve the requested pitch attitude. The autopilot computer backdrives the control column. The flight computer monitors the elevator position. If it is a long-term pitch correction, maintaining the same tailplane force, it commands the stabilizer to a new position and offloads the elevator to neutral. Manual trimming is not allowed during autopilot operation. The flight computer will ignore the pitch trim command, but if the pilot moves the control column, the flight computer will stop all autopilot commands, disengage the autopilot, and give the pilot manual control. In the event of a complete electrical system failure, the fly-by-wire system of the aircraft is unavailable. To ensure roll and pitch control is still available to the pilots, the aircraft has mechanical backups. Roll control is provided by the two spoilers mechanically connected to the control wheel. For pitch control the aircraft has an alternate stabilizer trim. The lever is mechanically connected to the stabilizer's hydraulic module. The alternate trim lever moves the stabilizer and controls the aircraft in the pitch axis. Stabilizer Runaway Protection The advantage of using a trimmable horizontal stabilizer is that it varies the tailplane force over a wide range. This provides trimming power over the extensive CG and airspeed range of the aircraft. The full elevator deflection is always available for short-term pitch corrections. This also reduces aerodynamic drag since the elevator stays streamlined with the tail. However, if a malfunction in the stabilizer mechanism causes an uncommanded motion and the stabilizer moves to an extreme position, the force on the tailplane will be so large that it will put the aircraft out of control. Using the full elevator force to counter this large tailplane force will not be sufficient to recover the aircraft. The flight computer monitors for uncommanded stabilizer motion. It immediately stops the hydraulic power to the stabilizer and prevents further movement. This ensures sufficient elevator authority is available for the pilot to control the aircraft. The pilot can also manually stop the stabilizer runaway by using the stabilizer cutout switches. With the stabilizer in the cutout position, pitch trim is still available, the elevator moves for trimming and stays there. Force is not offloaded to the stabilizer. Stall protection. Increasing the angle of attack increases the lift on the wings. But after a certain point, the flow on the top of the wing detaches and the wing stalls. Stalls are dangerous. The flight computer has stall protection software that ensures the aircraft does not reach a stall condition. We will consider three different wing configurations to better understand the flight computer's stall protection feature. In a clean wing configuration, when the flight computer notices the aircraft is close to stalling, it increases the column feel force in the pull direction, making it harder to pull the column. The column force is not increased in the push direction. Simultaneously, the flight computer gives an elevator down command to push the aircraft nose down and reduce the angle of attack.
When the flaps are extended in the landing configuration, the high curvature at the trailing edge can cause the wing to stall at a lower angle of attack. To increase the stall margin when the flaps are extended, the leading edge slats create a slot. This allows the airflow below the wing to flow above and delay the wing stall. If the aircraft is close to a stall with flaps extended, the flight computer responds with increased column force and the elevator down command. When the flaps are in the takeoff configuration, the slats are in the sealed position. This does not create a slot. In this wing configuration, if the aircraft is close to stalling, the flight computer performs an additional task using the auto slat function. It directs the flap slat computer to extend the leading edge slat to the gapped position. The slats are moved to the extended position to delay the flow separation. Simultaneously, the flight computer increases the column force and commands the elevator. Overspeed protection. Commercial aircraft are designed to operate within a safe speed limit. When the aircraft crosses the maximum operating speed, the structural stress increases. Exposure to such high speeds for a longer duration could result in catastrophic failure. The overspeed protection function of the flight computer gives an elevator up command and pitches the aircraft nose up. Trading airspeed for altitude and bringing the aircraft back within safe limits. And with that, we conclude the Boeing 777 flight control series. Thanks for watching.